What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Spy Family Episode 10. This one is called The Great Dodgeball Plan. I'm very excited. I'm assuming with the title, after we had a nice Your specific episode, Your and Lloyd, we're going to be focusing more on Anya, going back to her school plans, endeavors. So I'm very, very excited. Don't forget, if you guys want early access to the other shows and full length to this show, any of the shows I'm watching, all that is available on the Patreon. Links are down below, like always. Make sure you guys check out the social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Twitch, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop right on into this. Spy Family, Episode 10, The Great Dodgeball Plan. Let's do this. We got Mr. Henry Henderson running very elegantly, as we'll say. Mustache looking mighty fine today, sir. <laughs> Yep, that's going to be quite the transition to our main girl this episode. We did hear about his older brother. What grade is he in? Let me see him. Come on, the photo album. They're giving his brother more attention than him. Truly an MVP. So when it comes to they're already starting to develop this, which I like because I like getting a lot deeper onto Damien's character. I don't want him to be just a one dimensional character, but with a lot of brothers or siblings in general, when it comes to a situation like this, where they're very known, very predominant, very, you know, socially in the spotlight siblings. A lot of the times you're either going to have the younger sibling who's more of the favor of people's attentions because that can definitely happen. Or you have the older one where the younger one's living in the older one's shadow, which this one seems to be. Um, what uh, Do I have his older brother's name written down? I don't. I know Donovan's the dad. Damien is him. But his older brother seems to be quite known. He was an Imperial scholar, so he was ranking in those, those Stella. Dodgeball, huh? So this is our first chance to get a Stella. I'm going to think of it from the opposite perspective as well from Anya. Anya needs one of those to cut out the balance out the bolt. Also, I wonder how mind reading is going to help during a physical activity. Okay, we got training on Damien and Anya sign. Hell yeah, you're. Heck yeah. I genuinely believe with training from Yor and strategies from Lloyd, Anya will be unstoppable. <laughs> Is she doing crunches? Yep. Death defying sit ups. There you go, you got this girly, come on. Stamina is crucial. Get some conditioning in. <laughs> Yours just... <laughs> Bro, you need hip rotation? Yep, that's what gives you the momentum. The... Mm. She knows her stuff. Okay, good. The resistance band. I like the way they're working out. I like this training. <laughs> this is adorable. Visualizing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You need mental training as well. <laughs> oh, the, 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 the good old under a waterfall technique. Classic. Who's just doing it under her shower? That's adorable. Oh, yeah, she's getting a little more stamina going up the stairs. Like some Rocky. Oh, yeah. Shouts out Anya. Reach for the stars. I even thought of a, <laughs> thought of a name. Ooh, we're going to hear her ultimate move later. That transition is like some My Hero shit. This girl's the goat. <laughs> she's the goat. 
兄貴と同じインペリアルスカラーにならないと出ないと父上に振り向いてもらえない。Yeah, I get it. I'm really liking how there's a lot of deeperness to Damien's character. I'm really liking the show so far. I know we're 10 episodes in, but. Hey, Henry Henderson, I can have you for a sub in every class, my man. Absolutely, sir. Ooh, it's been years since I played dodgeball. Imagine if I got like a reactor squad together and we all played dodgeball, you know? I want a big reactor dodgeball game. That'd be way too fun. I don't know why I'm thinking about that. Who would that be? He's got to be insane. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's like Razor from Hunter. Why is this kid seven feet tall? Why is he 35 years old? Bazooka Bill. In kindergarten. Okay. Okay. <laughs> This kid has a this kid has a deeper voice than me. It's four knocked out on the same throw. So this guy is just a what are they in second grade menace to society? I mean, look at his dad. It makes sense. Yeah, look at his dad. His dad looks like fucking Guile. From Street Fighter. That's kind of dope. Those Stellas with your own hands make him more of like a physical embodiment, you know? For the future of Austinia. Reminds me of Benjamin from Hunter x Hunter as well. Well, thank you, Bill. I know, right? Ooh, okay, teamwork, Damien. Look at you and the lackeys climbing up this mountain. The physical embodiment of the obstacle in our way, and we will climb it. He's like the all might of dodgeball. Not coconut head. <laughs> this is so hilarious. What is this, Dragon Ball Z now? What are they on, Namek? That is literally like Namek. <laughs> He's trying to stop it. This is their physical training. Formation. Oh, this is hilarious. I love this. Oh, oh, the head topper. Okay, missile incoming. Obviously, that's what I was. Ooh, the uh, they're supposed to make like an after image so you can't can see where they're throwing it. You get disoriented and yeah. I do like their strategies, though. He's gonna walk out and tank it for his homie. This is what it was an honor to fight my ears. I respect it. Even though they're lackeys, they're real lackeys, and I respect them. That is gonna take this kid's head clean off. If this was a different show, that guy's head would be gone. This would literally be Hunter Hunter. He takes heads off with his volleyball. True MVP in our hearts, Damien. Emil, I gotta write down their names. I'm starting to respect these uh these lackeys, man. Keep on pushing for Damien. He will be MVP. She's not like, she's dodging, but like it's instinctively. She just hears that my hard arm, you know. Really? I didn't know that, Henry. I love this show. That is... They mean instinctively took it for her. Oh my, I love this. Look at that. <laughs> what is this, a shonen? When it comes to protecting the girl he loves, that man... Oh, he didn't catch it, but he did stop it. Fucking 10 bonus points to Damien this episode. Absolutely. 
Win it for the squad, Anya. Win it for the squad. Hell yeah. The future is in Anya's hands. She knows the responsibility, the pressure that is on her back. Oh my god, if you're ever... Oh my god, this woman is my wife. The wind, these shots, the 3D cinematography going around Anya. Ooh. This shot right now. Just like your... Ooh, come on, get that momentum built in. The star catch arrow, catch those stars. I was so excited! I was so... I... That is true. Do they actually get one? I think honestly, if, if anyone deserves one this episode, it's probably Damien. Or perhaps not. Or they're just going to argue like kids. That was probably my favorite episode so far. And I've said that about so many episodes. That was such a good episode. Oh my goodness. I cannot get over how much I like that episode. I've always liked dodgeball as a sport since I was Anya's age playing dodgeball with my friends in school. But ever since Hunter Hunter, I knew what an anime dodgeball could really be like. And this was like just a slightly funnier, slightly less murderous version of that. So I'm very, very happy for that. It was so hilarious. I love the training from your to Anya. I love the relationship from Emil and Ewan to Damien and Damien to Anya. I love just Bazooka Bill, just this brawlic kid coming out of nowhere. And when I watched this episode, I was like, that is so unrealistic. Like what the hell, you know, this is just supposed to be funny, but I'm not joking with you guys on everything I love. I swear on everything I love. Uh, what are they like 11 12 13 10 right around there i knew a kid my friends can corroborate i knew a kid who was bigger than most of the kids in high school not like tall wise but i'm telling you i've never seen a bodybuilding 13 year old this kid was his name was ethan i'm not gonna say his last name <laughs> oh I'm, i can believe it i can believe it bazooka bills out there making gains man with his dad i do like how we're getting a lot deeper when it comes to this prestigious school, not just because of it being a prestigious school and how many stereotypes come along with that, such as Henry Henderson, you know, other people, but like, we're gonna get a lot of prestigious people and the relationships with very famous parents and their children's are usually, they're, they're never usually really healthy or really that good. So I completely understand Damon, Damien feeling uh, like he's in the shadow of his brother I feel um, Bazooka Bill just feeling like his dad is like, like he's a strict, he's a hard ass. Like his dad's like, you will not only, like imagine the pressure on you. You're not only gonna be the goat of Eden, who what, that's what his expectations are. You're also gonna be the goat of the army and you're gonna make sure Austinia, our whole country is safe. Like it's a lot of pressure. So I like how we're, I like how, that's such, I didn't even think about that, but now that I'm thinking about the relationships between these, these students, it, it makes the writing in this show even more in depth and really creative and genius. When you have these kids who have ideally your preferred situation, your parents have come from a lot of money. You are going to a prestigious school. You are their biological child. Everything is set up beautifully, yet they can have horrible relationships. And then you look at your Lloyd, and Anya, who have the most fake, pretend, non-real family relationship there is, and yet I think they have a, a hundred times more of a healthy familial relationship than anyone on this show, and I love it. And that just goes to show, I don't know what it goes to show, but it goes to show something. I love this show, I love the creator, I need to learn more about the mangaka, and I, I have four volumes of the manga, I'm not trying to read them to spoil myself. Oh, I must say, the show is chef's kiss. If you guys did enjoy, Please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the channel. Check out that Patreon. If you guys want to rewatch this in the full length, check out next week's episode in the full length. All that jazz. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out, y'all.